people of Israel, recalling the words of the prophet Isaiah, strangers shall join them and shall cleave to the house of Israel. You can go ahead and pass the Torah. Torah, which has ever been a light for our path, we recall the reverence and gratitude all those descendants of Abraham and Sarah who have been faithful to you and those who of their own choice have sought to serve you through the faith and people of Israel. And Brandy, as we prepared for this moment, there's a few statements I'd like to ask you to respond to. Do you choose to enter the eternal covenant between God and the people Israel and to become a Jew of your own free will? Yes. Do you accept Judaism to the exclusion of all other religious faiths and practices? Yes. Do you pledge your loyalty to Judaism and to the Jewish people under all circumstances? Yes. Do you promise to establish a Jewish home and to participate actively in the life of our Jewish community? Yes. Do you commit yourself to the pursuit of Torah and Jewish knowledge? Yes. Having been blessed with children, do you continue to promise to raise them as Jews? Yes. Of my own free will, I choose to enter the eternal covenant between God and the people of Israel and to become a Jew. I accept Judaism to the exclusion of all other religious faiths and practices. Under all circumstances, I will be loyal to the Jewish people and to Judaism. I promise to establish a Jewish home and to participate actively in the life of the synagogue and of the Jewish community. I commit myself to the pursuit of Torah and Jewish knowledge. I am blessed with children, Therefore, I promise to raise them as Jews. Ki lekach tov natati lachem torati al ta'azovu. Eitz chayim hi lemachazikim ba v'tom chayam ushar. Derecha dachay noam v'chol netifoteha shalom. Behold, I have given you a doctrine, our Torah. Do not forsake it. It is a tree of life to those who hold it fast. And all who cling to it find happiness. Its ways are ways of pleasantness. And all its paths are peace. As part of studying to prepare for this moment, we asked Brandy to share a, uh, prepare a brief thought on what this moment and this journey has been about. So uh, we give her that opportunity now. This has been an extraordinary journey for me, and I'm very grateful to be here amongst all of you today. I would like to thank um, the Adventure Rabbis, Rabbi Evan and Rabbi Jamie, for their teachings and their thoughtful conversations. And I would like to also thank my wonderful husband, Wally, and my children, Brianna and Jojo, for their unconditional love and support and for taking this journey with me. So in a moment, Brandy's going to lead us in the words of Shema, the watchword of our faith, as it is often called. Before we get to that moment, I'd like to ask everyone to take out your Haggadah, your prayer book, um, as after the Shema, we're going to join in two blessings, two prayers. The, if you open to the inside cover of two of the three editions, there is the Tifilat Haderach, so this does involve sharing, all part of our community. And also on that first page are the words of Shechianu, which we'll get to in a moment. So as you're getting that out, I would like to ask Wally and Brianna and Jojo to come up here and join their wife and mother in this moment standing around Torah. And once you have your Haggadah out, your prayer book out, I'd like to ask everyone to rise. So while many of us know these words, I, we encourage you to join in. But this is one of those moments that when we join in the words of Shema, we do so in a little bit quieter voice. Because as the first time as a Jew, 
for Brandy to share these words, it's important for her to lead us in them. So we do ask you to join us, but with a little bit quieter than you might normally do. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. The words of Shechianu are on page three in your Haggadah. Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Vekimanu Vehegianu Lazman Hazeh Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Vekimanu Vehegianu Man has We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this joyous time. Now, on the inside cover of some of your versions of the Haggadah, you have the Tifilat Haderach, the Traveler's Prayer. We've chosen to join in these words because, yes, Randy, you've been on a journey, but uh, as someone shouted out over there, you're going to love it, right? <laughs> the journey's just beginning, so we'll join in these words. May we For those who are blessed to be near family members, hold them close. For those who are here by themselves, turn to that person you talk to on the hike and be part of their family for a brief moment. We're going to turn to the most ancient words of blessing in our Jewish tradition, the Birkat Kohanim, the priestly benediction. Yivarecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May God bless you and keep you. Ye'er Adonai panavilecha v'yichunecha. May God's countenance shine upon you and be with you. Yisa Adonai panavilecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God be with you wherever you journey, and may God bless you with the greatest of all blessings, the blessing of peace. And we say, and we to say together, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov.